Hey there, Team Rhino Crash Course. So welcome to your uh, Crash Course. This is going to be your first assignment on this video. But before we get into that, I just want to give you a little intro and welcome you to the group and um, just talk a little bit about what you should expect from this group. Okay, so when, when you signed up, you should have seen that the um, requirements for getting into the group and my idea of time commitment and things like that was fairly strict. I, I told you that I wanted you to, you know, make sure that you had at least one hour to commit to this group every single day, which may not seem like a whole lot. Um, and, and it shouldn't be if you're really dedicated to this business, because a lot of the things that we'll be doing in here will be things that are moving your business forward. They're not just busy work. So about an hour a day. So I need you to commit to being here for an hour a day for these assignments and things that I give you. Some days might be a little bit more, some days a little bit less, but that's an average. Um, I also required that you be on Shakeology HD, which um, there's very few people that I've let in these groups without being on Shakeology HD. You at least have to be using Shakeology on a regular basis. And um, the reason is not so that I can get more volume in my downline. The reason it is because I've never seen a coach make it as a good coach without being also on Shakeology because how can you sell something to someone? How can you recommend something to someone? How can you share something with someone that you're not using on a regular basis yourself? How can you overcome price objections when you think it's expensive, too expensive for yourself to buy? I think those are, you know, just hard facts and I, I hate to have a requirement like that, but I do. So the, I think because I think it's essential. So um, I've made those requirements. You all have met those requirements in almost every case. And so um, the other requirement, though, is I want you to participate in this group. I want you to think about this like as if you, this is your challenge group and you want every challenger in your challenge group to be engaging and to be uh, liking the posts and commenting and helping each other. That's what I want from you guys. And so I want you to think about this like be the challenger that you would love to have in your challenge group. Okay, so that means that you're in this group checking it out every day. You're not missing posts. You're not missing comments. You're hearing what people are saying and you're learning from it. Okay, so make that commitment to this group for the six weeks that we're here. I see a lot of people, in, in even in these kind of groups, and especially in challenge groups, you've seen them in your challenge groups probably if you started running challenge groups, you will see that people will be there for the first week, maybe the first two weeks, and then all of a sudden, they're nowhere to be found, and you have to start tagging them in order to get any kind of responses from them. Don't be that person in this group, okay? You've committed to something that you want to do, that you're going to do with your business, so be here for it. Okay, so that's my little spiel on that. I'll, I'll get off the soapbox about uh, your commitment to this group, but I really do want you to be that committed. Let's get to the assignment now. Okay, so the assignment for your very first assignment in this group is to make a video. Um, <clears throat> you don't have to make this video on an expensive camera. I'm doing this on a webcam. You can do this on the webcam on your laptop if you have one. You can do it on your iPhone. You can do it on a really expensive camera. I don't care, a flip camera just make a video okay so um, that's your first part of this assignment is that you need to make a video the second part of the assignment that I want to be really clear about is uh, related to what I was just talking about is that I want you to watch everyone else's videos now it's going to be a lot of videos for you to watch and that might be pushing on the one hour requirement per day um, you can spread them out a little bit, but make sure you're hitting everyone's videos. I would recommend that you go through the members in this group, which is set now. We're not uh, adding any more members to this group. Go look through the members and make a list of those members, and then make sure you have watched every one of their videos. Okay, Then you're going to know who has done a video and who hasn't done a video because you're going to be looking for somebody's video that you don't have a check mark by. So make that list. Watch everyone else's videos. Make your video as well. OK, with that, that means that we need to make a time requirement on these videos because we don't want 14 minute videos and, and, and two minute videos and six minute videos and eight minute videos. If somebody has a has a 14 or 15 minute video, that's going to put a lot of time restraint on everybody else if we're trying to watch every single person's video. So I want your videos no longer than five minutes, and I'd like to see them more around the three to four minute range okay now what do you put in your video obviously it's not just any video okay so <clears throat> your video is three to five minutes long you, the first part of your video there's two parts to it the first part 
introduce yourself. <clears throat> That's the easy part, right? Your introduction uh, should have an introduction about yourself, about uh, you know how many kids you have, where you live, what you do for um, a normal job. If you if this is not your full-time thing, maybe you're a stay-at-home mom, you're or you're an engineer, or you know whatever it is you do for uh, a living, and then. The second part is how you got into Beachbody and where you're at in the whole Beachbody thing. Okay, so that you, like you started with P90X and you became a coach. Why did you do that? Okay, that's that's your intro. And then the second part is the meat of this video, and that is your why. We talked about this during the seven-day training. If you did the seven-day training, we talked about this. We should have done the seven-day training to be in this group. So we talked about finding your why. I want you to dig really deep on this one. Find, Figure out what your why is. If you already know it, that's fine. Put it on the video and tell us what your why is. Why does it drive you? Remember, your why doesn't have to be something fantastical. It doesn't have to be some amazing thing. Uh, it could be that you just want to buy a new triathlon bike. That's perfectly fine. But it has to be something that drives you to get up every day and do this job okay it has to drive you to talk to people about what this thing to share with this thing with people okay so that is what I want you to put for the second part of your video so let me make sure that's I've got everything here so an introduction of who you are what you do what your how you got into Beachbody and then your why okay for the last part of this video I'm gonna go ahead and make my video version of that okay so from this point on it should be about three minutes long I'm gonna introduce myself and then I'm gonna give you my why okay so this is an example for you so you can see uh, what kind of what I mean okay so hey everybody my name is Ryan Chapman and uh, I am 32 years old I live in Bremerton Washington uh, kind of near Seattle. We're about an hour ferry ride um, from Seattle over on the Kitsap Peninsula, or the Olympic Peninsula, um, kind of over near Bainbridge Island, if you're familiar with any of that. Okay, so that's where I'm from. Um, I have a wife and two kids. Um, they're both the same age because they're twins. So I have twin girls, uh, Maddie and Lucy. Um, I'm formerly an engineer. Uh, worked at Puget Sound Naval Shipyard for the Department of Defense doing aircraft carrier overhauls for about eight or nine years. Uh, got into engineering management, and then I quit my job to be a Beachbody coach. How I got into Beachbody, I got into Beachbody um, <coughs> doing P90X right after my girls were born. Uh, met Dave Ward online, who is my upline coach, and ended up signing up as a coach and took off from there. And uh, now I'm a Star Diamond Team Beachbody coach. So that's how I got into it. I loved P90X and what it did for me and uh, and then eventually got into Shakeology too and uh, have gone from there. My why. <clears throat> my why is that I want to give my kids basically the kind of life that my dad gave me. <clears throat> my dad was there a lot. I want to be there for my kids. And one of the reasons for that is I realized that <clears throat> the things that my dad taught me have been more valuable to me throughout my life than anything else I've learned. Anything from school, all the years of engineering school, all the years at the Department of Defense, uh, any of that stuff that I've learned, the things that I learned growing up as a kid were the things that have stuck with me the most and have been the most valuable. And I want to be able to give that same thing to my kids. I don't want someone else raising my kids. I don't want to be away at work all day while someone else raises my kids. Um, and, and that's why I'm even thinking about homeschooling my kids too. I haven't made that decision completely yet, but, um, so, uh, I have actually been able to quit my job and have made most of that a reality, but I want to continue on and be able to bring my wife home so that she can be home with the kids as well. So that is my why that's what drives me. That's what gets me up every day to do this, uh, work and to build this team and to, uh, help get people healthy and, uh, and that's what I'm doing. So that, that's my why. That's who I am. And uh, I can't wait to watch all of your videos. Thanks.